Everybody knows that secrets and intrigue are the building blocks of any great mystery. But what about when the building blocks themselves are the real mystery at hand? From secret chambers inside famous monuments to an ancient mega-pyramid that no one can find, grab your chisels as we chip away at some of the most curious architectural mysteries that have baffled even the smartest historians. Sphinx Secrets For over 4,000 years, architects, historians, and beyond have marveled at the Great Sphinx of Giza. While most of us are preoccupied with the statue's exterior appearance, archaeologists have been investigating some tantalizing clues hinting that the Sphinx sits on top of an ancient underground network. Usually hidden from the view of onlookers, a small hole near the Sphinx's tail can be found. This, some theorists have suggested, may be connected to an underground city of chambers and interconnecting tunnels below. There are several shafts and holes dotted around the statue. While all lead to dead ends, and many are estimated to have been carved by treasure hunters after the Sphinx's construction, there are plenty of theories as to what may lie within or further beneath the Sphinx. Legend has it there is a maze below the Sphinx that leads to the mysterious Hall of Records, an ancient library that is said to house essential knowledge of mathematics, medicine, and beyond. In other words, the answer is to just how advanced the ancient Egyptians really were. However, there is no meaningful evidence for such a place ever having existed. Skeptics argue that the area under the Sphinx would be a terrible place for any kind of library, especially since it's prone to groundwater flooding. And while it remains unclear exactly what's down there, who knows? Maybe the Egyptians are still managing to hide secrets from us in the modern world. In a pyramid scheme of secrets, if you will. The White Pyramid The mere mention of the word pyramid is sure to conjure images of those in Egypt. But what if I told you that China may be keeping a few enormous ancient pyramids of their own under wraps? In the 20th century, there were multiple reports of Western visitors to China encountering a gargantuan white pyramid just outside the city of Xi'an. Sightings of the pyramid date back to 1912, when American travel agent Fred Schroeder wrote that he'd seen the pyramid while walking with a Buddhist monk who told him that the pyramid was at least 3,000 years old and 1,000 feet tall. That's over twice the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The second and third sightings came from U.S. military pilots in 1945 and 1947, both of whom claimed to have seen a white pyramid capped with a giant gemstone of some kind. Soon after these sightings, a photograph of the supposed pyramid appeared in Western newspapers. But something was wrong. The pyramid in the picture was subsequently identified as the Maoling Mausoleum, which is indeed in the Xi'an region. But it looks nothing like the white, jewel-topped pyramid described in the sightings. What's more, it's a mere fraction of the alleged size, being just 155 feet tall. These conflicting descriptions have led many to believe that there's something more to this pyramidical mystery. Some online theorists believe that the Chinese government are deliberately concealing at least 40 pyramidal mounds around Xi'an, which appear to have been planted over with fast-growing cypress trees. If true, this could explain why no one has seen the White Pyramid in so long, if it's since transformed into a pyramid chia pet. It's also possible, and maybe more likely, that the gleaming pyramid could have been some kind of optical illusion, with reflections or glare from the sun accounting for the white-looking pyramid as well as its jeweled top. Either way, the question of why the pyramids have been concealed remains. Some scholars suggest it's merely an act of respect for the tombs of historic figures, taking precedent above explorative research. More wacky theorists think there may be secrets nestled in the tombs that the Chinese government wants under wraps. One thing's for sure, these pyramids aren't looking likely to be dug up anytime soon. 
So it seems true confirmation of the White Pyramid and why it would be willingly concealed will remain entombed for now. If the idea of a pyramid in China isn't crazy enough, what about one in <gasps> Antarctica? In September 2016, this bizarre image appeared online, showing what looks to be a long-lost pyramid half buried in Antarctic snow. Standing at over 4,000 feet tall, many saw this polar pyramid as a sign that Antarctica could have once been home to an ancient and very advanced civilization. Sadly, many scientists debunked any theories of advanced polar civilizations, stating that the structure was simply a mountain, with an uncanny resemblance to the man-made pyramids we recognize. Most likely, its unique shape was the result of a process called freeze-thaw erosion, in which water fills up cracks in the mountain, then freezes and expands when the temperature decreases. This expansion can result in large chunks of cliff face breaking off, leaving a smoother surface on each of the mountain's sides, and occasionally a pyramidal shape. So, as exciting as ancient Antarctic civilizations may be, for now, it looks like nature is the real master architect around these parts. The Georgia Guidestones Widely regarded as America's Stonehenge, the creation of the Georgia Guidestones is not quite as ancient, but it's just as peculiar. In 1979, a mysterious man, using the fake name Robert Christian, approached the Elberton City Granite Company in Georgia. With him, Robert brought a scale model of an odd-looking monument, as well as 10 pages of comprehensive specifications which included instructions for the monument to be erected off Route 77, nine miles outside Elberton. On March 22, 1980, the commissioned monument was revealed. It was a set of stones engraved with a set of cryptic instructions written in eight different languages, including English, Chinese, and, strangely, Egyptian hieroglyphics. The instructions seemed to detail a plan for a post-apocalyptic society, with ten commandments to follow in the New World, including an instruction that humanity should strive to keep the global population below merely 500 million. But the instructions themselves weren't even the strangest twist in this tale. In July 2022, the monument mysteriously met its demise at the hands of an unknown, shadowy figure over four decades after its creation. The only evidence relating to the Guidestone's destruction is the footage of an unidentifiable figure running around the stones shortly before the explosion. With quite the web of unanswered questions, there's some doubt as to whether the Georgia Guidestones will ever be rebuilt. But if they do, hopefully they'll add an 11th commandment. Do not blow me up. Ancient Astronaut Unless you're a moon-landing conspiracy theorist, you probably believe humans first achieved space travel in the 1960s. But what if I told you there's some medieval architecture hiding mysterious details that seem to suggest otherwise? The Cathedral of Salamanca in Spain is actually two churches joined together, one dating back to the 12th century and one from the 16th. While there are many unique carvings on site, there's one that's truly out of this world, the carved figure of what is indisputably an astronaut. But that doesn't make any sense. If this cathedral was built in the 16th century at the latest, does that mean there were ancient astronauts? Now, before your minds race with conspiracies of medieval space travel or alien architects, let's take a closer look to see if we can figure out exactly what's going on here. While it's true that the construction of the Salamanca Cathedral's newer side began in 1513, there was no such astronaut carving at the time of the cathedral's completion. How do we know that? Well, fast forward to 1992, a restoration project for the cathedral was underway, and one of the tasks involved the stonemasons adding in some quirky touches to reflect our modern world. The astronaut, as well as a cheeky gargoyle enjoying an ice cream, are the result of this restoration project. 
And while there are still infinite mysteries to unravel when it comes to the future of space exploration, it's nice to think that this stony astronaut will remain as an important signifier of its history. Missing Neighbors On first glance, Vesterstraat in Amsterdam's Jordan neighborhood appears to be a street like many other. But look closer, and you'll see that not everything is very neighborly around these parts. Eagle-eyed pedestrians passing number 54 Westerstraat might notice something rather odd. The numbers skip directly from 54 to 70. But what happened to these missing houses? Were they banished from the neighborhood? Well, they aren't actually missing at all. You just need to know where to look for them. Wedged inside the 4-inch crack between number 54 and 70 are seven miniature houses, all stacked on top of one another. And while you might be curious to find out how much a mortgage for one of these dollhouses would be, unsurprisingly, nobody lives in them. But why are they there? It turns out there used to be a small courtyard, accessible only through a doorway at number 54, that led to the entrances to the full-sized versions of these houses. However, at some point, street access to the courtyard was permanently blocked off by new construction. The missing number houses were merged together to create larger buildings, and later, the miniatures were installed as a tongue-in-cheek way to represent the mysterious missing seven street numbers. And while they say it's not the house that makes a home, the miniature houses of Vesterstraat have certainly made themselves at home as a part of the street's hidden history. Initiation Wells Nestled in the hilltops of the Portuguese Riviera, those who look upon the exterior of the Quinta da Regaliera estate will recognize it as a masterclass in Gothic-style architecture. But it's what lies beneath that makes this fortress a true enigma. In the grounds of the estate is a mysterious twin set of wells, but curiously, neither of them has ever been used to collect water. On the contrary, the two wells function more like inverted towers, spiraling downwards via staircases adorned with occult symbols descending into a mysterious abyss. But for what purpose? Well, it's about as strange as you can imagine. These pits are said to have been used as part of a mysterious initiation ritual for one of the most famous secret societies in history, the Knights Templar. The Quinta de Regaliera, as it appears today, was constructed between 1904 and 1910 by Antonio Montiero, a man said to have possessed a deep interest in the Knights Templar. Originally an elite Catholic military organization formed in the 12th century, most historians agree that the Knights Templar disbanded more than 700 years ago. But some believe there are those who have made efforts to revive the society in more recent history, including Montiero. Local historians believe that candidates would enter one of these initiation wells blindfolded to descend nine flights of spiral steps before facing the challenge of navigating a pitch-black labyrinth-like grotto. Only if they emerged from the labyrinth would they finally be welcomed into the mystical Templar Brotherhood, or similar mystic organization. While Templar initiations no longer take place at Quinta de Regaliera, at least not that we know of, the mystery of the Knights Templar and their many secrets are sure to live on for all time. Pradyama Castle Hogwarts, Minas Tirith, the Red Keep while you may think mysterious and magical castles like these only exist in fantasy, a select few have captured imaginations in the real world. Perched in the middle of a 400-foot cliff in south-central Slovenia, Pradyama Castle is hiding a secret that you'd think only possible in fiction. The entrance to a complex network of hidden tunnels. Woven into a nine-mile-long natural cave system, the tunnels are said to have been built to serve as a convenient hidey hole for the castle's residents. The tunnels, which lead to an exit at the top of the mountain, allowed inhabitants to continually gather supplies from the nearby town without being noticed. Why was this sneakiness important? Well, Pradyama and its caves were once home to the legendary Erasmus von Leg, a local Robin Hood figure 
who is said to have fled to the castle after putting an end to an adversary at the Vienna court in 1483. Despite finding himself under siege at the castle for his crime, Erasmus stood firm thanks to his network of tunnels which allowed him to sneak in and out at will. But despite his secret tunnels, legend says that Erasmus ultimately met his end when one of his men betrayed him, blasting him out of the castle walls with no less than a cannon. Whether the tale is true or not, while Erasmus ended up being permanently erased from Predyama, his explosive legend, as well as all the castle's perplexing tunnels, live on to this day. Pumapunku Found in western Bolivia, Pumapunku is a curious, ruined temple complex that baffles historians to this day. The stonework is widely thought to date back to 536 AD, built by the Tiwanaku civilization, but there are some details that call this interpretation of its origins into question. You see, one of the biggest mysteries of Pumapunku's construction is that the only rudimentary tools we have evidence of being used here are super simple hammer stones. Despite these tools usually being assumed to be fairly basic and imprecise, some of these blocks look to have been finished to machine levels of precision with perfectly drilled holes and razor-sharp edges. Stranger still is the fact that all of this precision is supposed to have been achieved by a civilization that had no writing system and no knowledge of the existence of the wheel. So, as far as some folks are concerned, something doesn't add up. Fringe theorists argue that it was another more advanced civilization currently unknown to historians that built Pumapunku, and some go as far as to propose that the site was made possible through alien intervention. However, aside from the strange look of the blocks, there's no concrete evidence that aliens were involved here. And as happens all too often, this could be a case of us underestimating our amazing ancient ancestors. Perhaps only time will tell. Stairway from Heaven In 1873, in Santa Fe, New Mexico, a Catholic order of nuns, known as the Sisters of Loreto, were having a special chapel built. Legend says the nuns had been unable to find anyone to devise a staircase to the choir loft that was suitable to the chapel's small size. The nuns began praying for a resolution when a mysterious man showed up at the chapel, demanding to be left alone while he worked on his very own secret solution to their dilemma. Six months later, the man vanished without a trace, leaving behind the magnificent but bizarre staircase he'd built. But what made it so strange? For one thing, the spiral steps, which have been decorated with elaborate handrails, had two full 360-degree turns, a mean feat to design in a self-supporting structure without the aid of modern architectural computer programs. The staircase didn't appear to have a central support beam for the stairs to spiral around, leaving many to claim that it was defying the laws of physics, an act of divine intervention. While many historians and architects agree that the staircase is a marvel of craftsmanship, most agree that there must be an earthly explanation behind its mysterious construction. The main theory is that the twisted outer and inner rings of wood that encapsulate the steps work to support the structure, and the narrower inner spiral takes the brunt of the weight similarly to the central pole seen in most spiral staircases. So, while the construction of the Loretto staircase does seem to adhere to the natural laws of physics, the real mystery lies with the man who built the stairs, whose identity remains unknown to this day. While the staircase at Loretto Chapel is considered by many to be a sort of stairway to heaven, there are some even more mysterious stairways out there that some say could have more hellish purposes. The interwebs are rife with people sharing pictures of creepy staircases in places like forests, which seem to lead to nowhere. Often these pics are paired with an eerie but often fictional backstory of some kind of shady occult goings-on, or even interdimensional glitches in the Matrix, but there may in fact be a logical explanation as to why they're there. This one, for instance, was actually part of a sculpture trail in the Forest of Dean in Gloucestershire, England. 
Dubbed the observatory, the stairs are based on the shape of early astronomical observatories in India. So, while many Redditors would tell you to run at the mere sight of them, a trip to the top will most likely result in nothing more than a very slightly better view of the stars. The Tuvan Coil India is the home of more than 2 million Hindu temples. One of these is the Vetuvan Coil Temple, but what sets it apart from most is the mystery of its origins. Located in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu, the Vetuvan Coil was constructed all the way back in the 8th century, but is known to this day for its intricate stonework. However, the biggest mystery here is the fact that the temple, carved out of a single 25-foot tall piece of rock, was strangely abandoned before its completion. While the top of the Vetuvan coil is amassed with highly detailed figurines of Hindu deities, the bottom remains largely unfinished. But why? Historians have noted that there is another temple in India that bears a striking resemblance to the Vetuvan coil. Despite being located more than 800 miles from the Vetuvan coil, the Kailasa temple shares some uncanny similarities. Both structures were carved into their respective hills in the 8th century, and both are dedicated to Shiva, one of the principal deities of Hinduism. While the Vetuvan coil stands at over 25 feet, the Kailasa temple is more than double the size, at 60 feet. Because of this size difference, some historians have theorized that the Vetuvan coil is a scale model of the Kailasa temple like how modern architects create smaller models of planned buildings to help them understand what it takes to build a larger version. Local legend, however, has its own take on the unfinished temple, telling the story of a father and son competing to see who could build the most spectacular temple. The story concludes with the son, who allegedly built the nearby Murugan Shrine, ridiculing his father for taking too long to finish his own shrine, and meeting a very permanent end via his father's ensuing rage. The father, legend has it, subsequently returned to his senses, abandoning the partially finished Vetuvan coil in grief. Yikes. This father-son tragedy is said to be how the Vetuvan coil got its name, which loosely translates to Temple of the Slayer, an awesome band name you can use for your next Guitar Hero speedrun. You're welcome. All legends aside, I actually think the scale model theory is more interesting and makes the practices of ancient architects all that more awe-inspiring. President's Secret Chamber Located in Pennington County, South Dakota, the world-famous Mount Rushmore attracts over 2 million visitors per year. But despite its popularity, few people realize that this monument of faces is masking a hidden secret. Obscured from view behind the stone head of Abraham Lincoln is an 18-foot doorway, leading to a secret chamber deep inside Mount Rushmore's cliffside. Weirder still is that the doorway looks strangely unfinished, as if it was suddenly abandoned along the way. You can't even investigate the chamber further in person because access is strictly forbidden, even for high-ranking officials. But we do know a little bit about its history. While the construction of Mount Rushmore began in 1927 and concluded in 1941, the idea for the secret chamber came in 1938 from head sculptor for the monument, Gutson Berglum. Dubbed the Hall of Records, the chamber was meant to function as a sort of elaborate time capsule, containing cabinets filled with some of the most important documents from American history, including the Declaration of Independence. However, around the onset of the USA's involvement in World War II in 1941, the ambitious project stalled and was never fully realized. Today, it's reported that a small repository of records, including a biography of the sculptor Gutson Berglum, as well as copies of the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence, are indeed stored in the floor beyond the doorway. But who really knows what's lurking back there? I don't know about you, but... Uh, this looks like a perfect spot for a secret society meeting. Perhaps we'll never really know for sure. Floating Pillar Another land of beauty and mysticism, India is a place with a certain magic in the air, and that magic extends to its architecture. 
Located in Andhra Pradesh, the Lipakshi Temple is a 16th century temple surrounded with 70 magnificently carved pillars. But one of these 70 is hiding a seemingly miraculous ability. It's hovering above the floor. Known around the world as the famous hanging pillar, the structural detail appears to be attached solely to the temple's roof, leaving a thin gap just above the ground. The hanging pillar sees curious locals and tourists alike often testing out its gravity-defying capabilities, making for some perplexing photographs. Of course, it's certainly possible that with the right kind of concrete attaching it, the roof has enough structural integrity of its own to hold up the pillar's weight. However, some eagle-eyed visitors have noticed a slightly more likely explanation. There is what appears to be a small section of the pillar that is in fact in contact with the ground, which could explain how the pillar remains structurally sound. Local sources claim that in the early 1900s, a British engineer tried to move the pillar to attempt to uncover its structural secrets and dislodged it, leaving part of it touching the ground, though this theory isn't universally accepted. So the questions of why the Lepashki's pillar would have been constructed with a gap and whether the Brits knocked it over will continue to hang in the balance. Which Windows? Globetrotting expeditions are great, but if you look closely, there might be some architectural anomalies to be found just outside your own front door. For decades, residents of Vermont have noticed peculiar crooked windows all over their neighborhoods, and local legends suggest their origins are even stranger than they look. Dubbed witch windows, local legend alleges these architectural anomalies are oddly positioned to make it impossible for broom-flying witches to enter through them, or by some alternative theories, to make it easier for morally crooked demons to exit the home. While the thought of witches attempting to zoom through people's windows may seem a little silly today, ideas of witchcraft and demons were once very real in the minds of strongly Christian 17th and 18th century New England settlers. Thanks to this, the witch window's spooky moniker has seemingly become local legend. But, as with most things magical, things are not what they appear. For one thing, there's the question of why Vermont's residents would only make use of one small side window to supposedly protect their homes from witches rather than several. And more significantly, these crooked windows only seem to have shown up two whole centuries after the witch trials. Despite their creepy connotations, it turns out that so-called witch windows have a more practical history. Vermont is a state known for its old housing stock, with many homes dating back to the early 1800s. Many of these houses have since had new wings installed to maximize space, but the problem was that many of these extensions would cover windows on the original structure. To solve this problem, builders would often angle a window to fit on the narrow available wall space between two structures. So, while witch windows may not be linked to any occult magic, the real magic at hand is the creative skills of New England's construction workers. Nosy London Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, red phone boxes. There's no question that London is filled with some of the most iconic architecture on Earth. With so much to see, it's no surprise that there are a whole host of mysterious things to sniff out like the fact that, for some reason, multiple buildings around the city seem to have noses. Why? Well, in 1997, artist Rick Buckley fixed 35 replicas of his own nose onto various buildings across the city as a creative protest against CCTV surveillance, placing them right under the noses of street cameras. While most of the noses were quickly detected, and cut off swiftly by officials, some of Rick's noses remain. The most famous nose still standing is an Admiralty Arch, about seven feet up the north-facing arch, certainly not something to be sniffed at. Weisbaden Manhole While this next architectural oddity might look like the entrance to an underground supervillain lair, what you're actually looking at is one of the most practical features of German streets. 
Located in the city of Weisbaden, this mysterious trap door is actually a manhole cover that opens to expose a shadowy spiral stairway leading down into a subterranean maze. Unbeknown to many of Weisbaden's pedestrians, they are in fact walking over the century-old Salzbach Canal sewer system 23 feet below. But while most manhole covers are circular, this mysterious angular design is more practical than you think. Round manhole covers, which weigh around 250 pounds, need to be removed for access. But this ergonomic design allows for the manhole to open up without workers having to worry about removing the heavy lid entirely. So with the streets lined with pieces of architectural ingenuity like this, I guess the phrase German efficiency didn't come from nowhere. Which of these architectural enigmas intrigued you the most? Are there any architectural mysteries in your town? Let me know in the comments below for a chance to be featured in a future video. Thanks for watching.